So it probably goes without saying, but electric rays are a group of rays that are capable of generating electricity. Depending on the ray, the voltage can be anywhere from 8 volts all the way up to 220 volts. Now, I think the most interesting thing about electric rays is how they have been used by people. The ancient Greeks used electric rays for pain relief during childbirth, Romans used electric rays to treat headaches, and modern biologists have used the electric organ of rays in neurobiological research on the neuromuscular junction, the point at which the electrical signals from the brain reach the muscle fiber. Next on our list is the electric eel, and by eel we actually mean fish because an electric eel isn't an eel at all but a type of knife fish, which is a relative to the catfish. This little imposter hangs out in freshwater creeks, rivers, and swamps around the Amazon. It can grow to over 6 feet in length, feeds off of other fish, and even eats small mammals like rats. Gross. But the reason that the electric eel is so well known is the unique ability it has to stun and even kill prey with an electric charge. It does this through a process known as bioelectrogenesis, which is science for it can create electricity. The same electrical process is used in less violent ways for navigation and even communication. Now, an electric eel can generate enough electricity to kill a human being, but it does so only for around two milliseconds, which isn't actually long enough to stop your heart. It still wouldn't feel good, and in fact, it's apparently about as painful as a stun gun blast. So, next time you're swimming around in the Amazon, make sure one doesn't go up your shorts. Oh, everyone's favorite little buddy, the gecko. The conventional explanation for how geckos stick so well to walls and other surfaces is by van der Waals forces. Essentially that their feet are covered in extremely tiny projections which have a molecular attraction to the surface. This belief, however, has been called into question recently as researchers at the University of Waterloo in Canada have conducted experiments that they believe show that geckos instead stick to surfaces using contact electrification something that happens when two surfaces touch and exchange electric charges. If it's true, it would mean that geckos stick so great to surfaces not only due to the unique physical mechanism of their feet, but also due, in significant part, to electrostatic forces. But before you hook yourself up to a golf cart battery and try to scale up the local cheesecake factory, you should know that the jury's still out on this one, and that's a really stupid idea. Next on our list of electric animals is nature's confounding hodgepodge, the duck-billed platypus. This mammal has a veritable laundry list of things that make it unique. For instance, it has a tail like a beaver, a bill and feet similar to a duck, fur like a mole, it's one of the only five species of mammals on this planet that lay eggs, it's the only survivor of both its family and genus, its jaw mechanism is unlike any other animal on the planet, and its legs stick out from its side like a reptile. On top of all that, it's also one of the only venomous mammals, delivering the venom via a spur on its foot. As if all that wasn't enough, it also has the gift of electroreception, which allows it to both detect an electrical source and its direction. It's believed that this can account for the back and forth sweeping motion it exhibits while it swims, much like you would swing a metal detector back and forth over an object to find the spot that has the strongest signal. And although it may not use its electrical powers to attack or deter prey like some of the other creatures on this list, its roster of crazy powers easily makes it the most baffling. And finally we come to the Oriental Hornet. The Oriental Hornet is a type of social wasp, which means it lives in a large group that's subordinate to a queen. The wasps live underground in nests they dig by grabbing small pieces of dirt in their mandibles and dropping it somewhere else. For food, they come out to forage for fruit, nectar, insects, and sources of animal protein like carcasses. They do sting humans on occasion and are reported to be very painful. They also don't lose their stingers when they attack you, so if you're really unfortunate, you might be stung several times, and if it has friends with it, you could actually die. Where the Oriental Hornet gets really interesting though is in its exoskeleton. The hornets have alternating bands of brown and yellow. 
The brown is from melanin to protect them from the sun, and the yellow cuticle actually allows the hornets to absorb sunlight and generate electrical potential. Yeah. It's solar powered. It's thought that these hornets are harvesting energy from the sun during the day to power their digging activities during the night. Let's see you do that one, Elon.